What's up guys and welcome to another video. In this video we're going to be going over the weapons versus spirit items and it's going to be like an itemization video so if you do enjoy this video you can always leave it like on the video and also make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the bell notification icon to always get notified when I do post a brand new video here on YouTube and I hope you do enjoy. For the most part most builds are going to be running hollow point ward, headshot booster, and basic magazine along with maybe long range items for those long range characters like paradox is for example she's going to be running like a long range she's going to be running a mystic shot your next bullet deals bonus spirit damage pristine emblem as well your attacks have additional weapon damage against enemies above 50 percent health so all of the weapon items are going to be mainly doing of course like it says weapon damage the advantages to this is that you can also get like active reload where once you have active reload on and you shoot sometimes you'll have that green little bar where you can reload faster than normal right some weapon items will have that some weapon items will even have like a kinetic dash where your next dash jump does not cost an extra stamina, and you gain fire rate and bonus ammo until your next reload lasts up to eight seconds so this is going to be really good for map play what they call it and moving around the map going into the jungle and ganking other lanes or switching lanes if you're having trouble with your lane right and the advantages to weapon items is mainly get that damage in with your weapon and or even there's even melee charges as well increases your heavy melee charge distance when you perform a heavy melee attack against an enemy your weapon reloads instantly so it's all going to be based around your weapon of course right having weapon damage and more magazine size headshot damage you know slowing bullets as well or even soul shredder bullets your bullets apply debuff that amplifies your spirit damage which helps your spirit as well so most of these weapon items will kind of help your spirit damage as well some of them will help it some of them will not help it you know it's all up in between the main disadvantages of having the weapon items is that for example this build of paradox is that as you can see there's only three items that are 500 cost for weapon right and it's mostly weapon because paradox is a weapon user mainly right but then you can't buy items like sprint boots extra stamina and mystic first which are spirit this is spirit and then these are vitality items right if you're really going after the weapon items to do a lot more damage then a disadvantage would be that you know you can't get as many shields you can't get as many spirit items if you're going to be running more weapon builds so you're going to be weaker and you're going to move a lot slower so in this build for example he has some weapon items and then also he's going to be running these kind of items as well for vitality and spirit like i said to basically balance that out and you always want to balance it out with weapon items same thing with the priority tab he's got he's got some weapon items here and also enduring speed improved burst combat barrier as well and you can buy these in whichever way you want some cost more than others but the weapons are going to cost a little bit cheaper right here and then go up so it's all about when you want to buy these items the main reason for getting spirit is spirit damage of course right for your abilities but you can even have things like ammo scavenger anytime you secure or deny a soul you get ammo back and gain stacking spirit power so that's going to help you in the lane all 500 cost items are going to be here in your early game and early lane stages and they're all going to help you out you can get extra charge, so rapid recharge on your abilities, extra spirit, extra spirit damage, mystic burst, which I'll talk about later on. It's a really good item to have for early game, basically necessity. You got mystic reach as well, so your abilities go farther, can reach farther. And you even got an active infuser, gain spirit power and spirit lifesteal, so you'll actually get some vitality in there, as in some lifesteal, and get some health back. So the main advantages of having more spirit is if your character does more spirit damage, so for example, if I switch to a character, it has more spirit capabilities. So maybe like Pocket. So Pocket's abilities are more spirit. So that spirit, you know, is one. That spirit is three is spirit when he pops out and he does a shockwave. Even his ultimate, spirit. So his whole build is going to be more spirit focused rather than the weapon. The weapon's good as well. You can have weapon things on him and people do build weapon items on him because it does shotgun and he does pretty decent amount of damage as you can see when he's close range. But for the most part, you're building more spirit towards him. So if you go on a build, he has some weapons, some weapon, yes, but mostly he's going to have, you know, for this build, he's going to have more shields. For other builds, he's going to have more spirit. Like this build, he's going to have way more spirit, as you can see, way more purple items. So the advantages and disadvantages line up with what your character is doing. So pocket, more spirit, as in for paradox, more weapon. And then also you're going to be running spirit as well, though, when you get to later game or mid game. 
So it's very beneficial for you to balance it out and have both in any character. So you always want to have some weapon items and some spirit items as well to get some burst in there, like improved burst for your spirit damage, and also have that weapon damage in there as well to do as much weapon damage as you can. Early game speaking and mid game speaking, your cooldowns are not going to be that good unless you get improved cooldown and superior cooldown until you get these two items right here, which is 4,000. 250 souls and this one's 1200 souls basically then you're gonna want to have some weapon damage in your kit to do a lot of damage before your abilities can come off cooldown so that's why mainly people are going to be building spirit damage later on in the game because they'll have more cooldown and they'll be able to damage a lot more with spirit and do it a lot more frequently than uh, just having your weapon damage up right and that's why a lot more people do weapon damage before spirit it goes weapon early game and then spirit more late game now one thing for weapon which is a very key is toxic bullets so it's not in that build that i just showed you on paradox but this is a basically a necessity for every game almost because the meta nowadays is more tanky heroes right so everybody's really tanky everybody's running around with vitality items and shields and everything like that and resists so you always want to have toxic bullets your bullets build up a bleed on enemies causing them to lose a percentage of their current health over time also applies healing reduction on the bleeding target it's going to be really really good to carry out toxic bullets and that's basically like i said mandatory for killing the tanks in, in each game that you play because everybody's going to be very tanky like killing warden killing abrams this item right here is going to help you out tremendously and i always buy this item when i'm getting to mid game to late game i always have this item just to deal with those tanky targets and that's why it's a key item to have as in a weapon item the main reason why builds are very tanky nowadays and characters are very tanky nowadays is because of this item right here once you get to late game leech it is insane it does spirit lifesteal bolt lifesteal as well so everybody is barely dying if they do have the item leech so it's very hard to kill these tanky characters when they do have leech but you do want to use leech against them as well spirit lifesteal you'll get some bullet lifesteal as well to stay alive for yourselves so a leech is always good item in late in super late game another item which is very key or early game like i said earlier mystic burst this item is truly amazing i love it abilities deal bonus spirit damage if they deal 80 damage or more in a single hit so if you have a decent character like paradox you have his three where he has a carbine and he charges up and he can shoot and slow down someone then this mystic burst is going to be really good for you with any character that has some sort of bursting capabilities to you know deal a bunch of damage in a sh in one shot or one ability usage then you always want to have mystic burst and i feel like it's a necessity to have this item in an early game to almost mid game stages and then you can get rid of it after mid game and late game and whatnot but this is just really good for early game stages to get that extra poke on your enemy in the lane and sustain your lane and win your lane overall. And even for ganking lanes as well in the early stages, you do want this item really, really bad. So personally, what should you buy and when? So for characters like Paradox, for characters like even Haze as well, even Pocket, Shiv, you know, all these characters are going to have different items. But for the most part, you're always going to want to have close quarters. Close quarters is almost on every single build. If you look or hear close quarters, this build doesn't have close quarters, but close quarters here. So that's three builds already with close quarters, right? Hollow point ward as well. So if I go back to Paradox, for example, I have hollow point ward, which is really, really good. So you're definitely going to want to buy that in early game stages. You're going to want to have headshot booster as well for most characters. Even close quarters, close quarters is not on this Paradox build at least. But close quarters is really good if you're more close quarters character. Paradox is not really a close quarters character, more long range, of course, with his weapon. You deal additional weapon damage when in close range to your target. So that's with any character like Shiv, like Haze, you know, all these characters that want to get close to you and want to kill you when they are really, really close, right? So it's going to be always good. You're always going to want to have basic magazine as well for most characters in the early stages. Then you're going to want to move to your priority items and then to your mid game items, right? So for example, if I switch heroes to say Lash, right? We go to Lash, we go to this build, for example, and he's mainly gonna wanna have the extra charge for his cooldowns to come up, like a chance barrier, headhunter, stamina, so he can run around. He's mainly a character to get in there and get out, kind of like Doomfist from Overwatch. If you ever played that, improve burst, of course, get in, get out, improve reach as well, so you can, you know, 
pull people so you can do this improve reach so you can reach the enemies easier to latch onto them and or minions and your teammates and of course improve reach for also your one as well so it's either the grapple or you can even use it on death slam as well which is really good for leech of course so as you can see all characters are very different right so each build is going to have different items and different ways to build so it's all up to you basically on what character you're going to play and what character you want to build right for mid game you're going to want always most likely going to want to improve cooldown on any character so he's going to help and also superior cooldown on like an ultimate or on like for example my three i would do that kinetic carbine that would be really good or my one which is my pulse grenade you know you can even run glass cannon most characters do run a glass cannon build which is very good each kill grants permanent weapon damage so definitely in late game if you're shredding them definitely get glass cannon you'll be doing even more damage and it stacks up one item that you always want to build each character, I would say, is Mystic Reverb. It's going to have an ability to apply slow and a radius around the target and deal an additional percentage of damage dealt to the enemies around the target after a short delay. So if I put this on my three, for example, and say if I add two people right here, so add enemy here, add enemy here, and then say if I hit the guy in the middle, so the guy in the middle and everybody gets slowed as you can see they all get slowed around them and then they deal additional little tiny bit of damage so that ability this item right here is very very good for any character i would say personally i think it's one of the best items in the game for slowing down characters and just dealing a lot more damage in a group radius because once you're in a team fight you'd use one ability and then you're going to slow all the enemies around as well in a team fight so it's very very good for that so i would definitely get that as well and also things like actives like warp stone warp stones are obviously really good for any character as well you can you know teleport use it for a defensive strategy to get away like i use it for paradox to get away from the fight and or tp in and then swap somebody right with my ultimate so you can use it either or, and that's really good of any character in the game. Also, going back to the weapon and spirit damage, you usually want to save some sort of souls for some movement, right? You want to have some movement, and that's basically what you want to do. You want to have some, some shields as well, and also some resists if you can. So, like, say if there is a Infernus on the enemy team, you can go and get the debuff reducer, reduces the duration of all negative effects, applied to you by 30%. So it's really, really good to have if you're against an Infernus because Infernus is going to light you on fire. And over time, you're going to take damage, right? So you always want to have this. If you're against Someone Infernus player, you can even have an active that's going to get rid of those effects as well applied. So you can even have another active and things like that. Inhibitor, your bullets apply movement slow and reduce the target's outgoing damage on hit hit so it's even good for a vitality item as well so all these items are going to be stacking up in a simpler term you buy the items when you want to counter the enemy right so say if the enemy is very weak to improved bursts so they're very weak to spirit burst then you buy that right you get that in there and then you do a lot of damage instantly right if you're having a tough time surviving a lot then you get like combat barrier you can get fortitude when you're above 75 percent health you have a bonus weapon damage and movement speed so it'll help you out you know superior stamina if you're having trouble running away from fights then you get that as well so you can dip out of fights right so all these are going to add up and all these are going to change throughout throughout your games and whatever your game is going to have so every game is going to have a different situation and every game you're going to have mostly different items other than like toxic bullets you know that's like a necessity like i said for example another weapon thing is like tesla bullets tesla bullets is insane for farming you want to get this item for farming because of course like it says you know it's going to kill minions really fast because obviously it's tesla bullets so it shocks the other minions so if i come over here as you can see i'm putting damage on other minions and as of course when you are super built in the game and have a lot more items then you'll kill multiple minions at the same time and it's really good for farming as well in like the jungle so overall like i said always have toxic bullets as a necessity always try to make some filler spots for like sprint boots have some movement speed as well because you don't want to be super slow in the game and also have some spots for like improved cooldown on spear items and also you could even run glass cannon you know it all depends on what your character does, but mostly you want to have some movement speed, some weapon damage, and also some spirit damage as well. So it's very, very 
So you're very, very diverse in every category and whatever category is getting owned. So say, for example, if you are taking a lot of damage, then try to go into the vitality tab and get improve bullet armor or improve spirit armor, whichever one you need against the opponent. So say if it's like a haze, get improved bullet armor so you won't take as much bullet damage from her and also improve spirit armor if you're going against a pocket or another character that's going to be using a lot of spirit damage, right? Veil Walker is always good as well. This is an item that you should always get on Vitality tab as well if you're jungling and more in a late game and mid game because you are going through the veils a lot more. So you, you know, get all kinds of buffs and bonuses from going through a veil. That's basically my itemization video. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you guys have any more questions, you can leave a comment down below and hopefully other people will be in the comments below answering these questions and asking more questions and things like that. So if you guys did enjoy this video, you can always leave a like on this video. And also make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on that bell notification icon. So you get notified when I do post a brand new video here on YouTube. And yeah, guys, have a great day and a night and peace.